Hello, hello, Doofer911 here with a quick video about the flight planning software called Plan G. So, Plan G works with FSX, Prepared, and Xplane, and it can be downloaded for free from www.tasoftware.co.uk. Plan G was developed by Tim Arnott, and I'd like to highlight that he does have a donate feature on his website. I'd highly recommend that if you are going to use this software, that you consider making a small donation to support him. I know that a lot of work goes into writing software, so he does, does deserve a little bit of support. But, as I said, the software is free, so you don't have to if you don't want to. So unfortunately this video is going to be a very quick look at uh, the software. Um, unfortunately I had some unexpected events happen this week, which have taken up a lot of my free time, so this video won't be as polished as some of my others. Anyway, getting back to the matter at hand, after downloading and installing Plan G, your first action will be to build a database so it can work correctly. So this is very easy. Simply go to the data menu at the top and then click on the build navigation database. You'll see that a small window pops up where you can select which flight simulator you're using and then simply click on OK and it will take about 5 to 10 minutes to build this database. So what this will do is pull all of the Navade data from the flight simulator into Plan G so that you can see all of the various navigation icons and then use them for planning a flight. Once that's completed you can start getting a proper look at the software. So if you've used any type of map software before such as Google Maps then this will be very familiar. You can move the map by left clicking and dragging it and you can zoom by using the scroll wheel and then finally if you right click you get lots of different options available to you. So up along the top you have a couple of menus which um, give you lots of various options underneath. So file is like any sort of office application. From here you can open, save or print flight plans. Home gives you a few options for setting up a flight plan. Map gives you options to change what is displayed on the map view. Data allows you to edit the Navid database that you created when you first started the software. And finally, view gives you various windows of information during the flight. Okay, so how do you actually create a flight plan? Well, it's actually quite easy. So, first you want to determine how or where you're going to fly. So I'm going to start at Inverness. So what I'm going to do is right click on Inverness and then select this option here which says Start Flight Plan at Airport EGPE or Inverness. So, I'll select that and that determines now that Inverness is going to be our start point for the journey. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly up to Wick, fly across to Stornoway and then back to Inverness. So, if we go up to Wick, right click on that then you can see that we can add airports to the plan. So we can add the airport as a waypoint. We do also have an option to add the VOR if we're going to fly by instruments or the NDB. But we're going to be flying, imagine this will be a VFR flight, so we'll just add the airport there. So click on that. And you can see that we get a black line between the, the two uh, waypoints there. So the black line is one leg of the journey, and Inverness is our first waypoint and Wick is our second waypoint. So flying across the Stornoway we do the same thing. So right click and then we'll add the airport to the plan and you can see that we get a second leg and then we'll go back to Inverness. Now unfortunately we can't really designate um, an, a destination or an endpoint. Um, we can simply just add the airport as the last kind of waypoint on the plan there and that'll, mar that'll be our destination there. So there's our kind of basic flight plan and anti-clockwise triangle there. So next up, we need to give the uh, the Plan G software some information to work with so it can calculate what direction this is and how long it's going to take to fly that and then our second leg at Stornoway and then back into Inverness. So first thing we can do is click on start position here and we can uh, tell the simulator or we can tell Plan G and the simulator what our actual starting point will be so we can start out on the runway or at parking or at a gate so we'll start at parking for example and click on OK. Next up is altitude so this is going to be our um, sort of 
intended cruising altitude. So for VFR flights of this distance, we're going to go up to about 5,000 feet. Normally we wouldn't go this high for um, a VFR flight, but along here there's a bunch of really high mountains, so I don't fancy flying into those. So uh, 5,000 feet will keep us high enough that we'll be safe. Next up is airspeed. So this will be your true airspeed, so your kind of cruising airspeed. Um, so I estimate in the Cessna at 5,000 feet it will be about 110 knots, which will be fine. So click on OK, set that in. Next up is winds. So if you're going to set this manually in the simulator, you can set it up manually here as well. Or if you're going to use real world weather, you can actually pull the real world weather from Plan G. If you have a look at the Meta report here, this is actually a live report of the um, the weather currently at Inverness. Um, so if you know how to read this, then you can use the um, the uh, the wind readings from that, which is actually these this little group of numbers here. Um, if not, then you can just set them in manually, or it doesn't really matter too much. Um, but yeah, I mean that is an option there. You can take the uh, the w the uh, wind readings from that, and then finally you can set up the aircraft profile. So th this is just basically a bunch of performance data for your aircraft that you're going to be flying. So you've got your V speeds here, and then your kind of climb performance and fuel usage and things like that. Uh, most of this, sorry, most of this data you can find online. Um, I haven't completed, uh, I haven't filled out this uh, completely, but uh, most of this data you will find online, or you can find it from the um, kind of performance guides in the simulator itself. So you just fill all of that out and then save it, and it will be ready to go. So if you wanted to fly this VFR flight manually. Um, what you can do is you can go to file and then print and then print flight plan so if you click this button here you'll see that we get a very um, official looking piece of paper here and uh, this gives you sort of all the information for your flight plan so you can see that we have our different waypoints here starting at Inverness next one will be Wick and then Stornoway and then we'll back to Inverness you can see it gives us distance and altitude ground speed between all of those um, waypoints and then also the main information here is the heading between that we need to fly between each waypoint and how long it's going to take so from Inverness flying up to Wick we need to fly a heading of 031 degrees and it'll take 36 minutes to fly that and then from Wick to Stornoway <coughs> pardon me it's uh, 272 degrees and it's going to take 58 minutes and then finally Still going back to Inverness, 123 at 43 minutes. And you can see it gives totals at the bottom here. So a total distance of about 250 miles. And it'll take two hours and a quarter to finish. So you can print that out and use that. Um, alternatively, you can use um, the GPS in uh, FSX to fly this. So what you want to do is save the plan first of all as a plan G flight plan so if you want to revisit this flight plan or amend it you can open it up in plan G so save it there now to get this flight plan to work in FSX you need to export it so to do that go to the file menu again and then click on export and then select the relevant simulator that you'll be using so we've got flight simulator X so we'll be using that click on that and then you see here, save type as FSX flight plan. So this is uh, the actual kind of flight plan format that FSX uses. So click save in there. And now we have a flight plan that's going to be available to use in FSX. So what we'll do just now is jump into the simulator and see how you um, load that flight plan into the simulator. So back in FSX, if you jump into the free flight screen and set up everything as you'd like it, you'll see there's a button just above the aircraft which says Flight Planner. So click on this and it will take you to the in-game Flight Planner screen. Next up, click on Load at the bottom and this will open the folder with your exported flight plan in it. So click on that to open it. Notice now when you look at the start location, how FSX recognises the exact starting point that you selected back in Plan G. Pretty cool, huh? 
Anyway, at this point, simply click on the OK to close the flight planner. There's no need to click the Find Route button. You'll also probably get a pop-up asking to move your plane to the correct start point, so just click on OK to that. And then, once you're ready, start the flight. OK, and once we're um, once the flight started, if we bring up the uh, GPS, like so, you can see that we've got the uh, flight plan lines there in place. So, what I'll do is zoom out. And you can see that we have our flight plan there programmed in. And if you don't believe me, if we have a look at the flight plan button at the bottom, there we have Inverness to Wick to Stornoway and back to Inverness. The distances and the directions might not be exactly the same, but um, you know the flight plan is there and it's um, ready to go. So you can fly uh, using the GPS if you wish. So uh, that's how you would import the flight plan into FSX. So there's a very quick look at Plan G. Again, I sincerely apologise for the shocking quality of this video, but as I mentioned, I had some very important matters that I needed to work on this week. I will be looking at flight planning in more detail in the future, and I'll definitely return to Plan G when I do that. Rest assured, normal service will be resumed next week when I talk about airways or highways in the sky. Many thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.